Hi guys, in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the if else statements in C language. In this session, we are going to discuss about the some of the example scenarios where we can use this if else statement. What is the syntax of the if else statement? How does the if else statement will get executed? Solutions for the example scenarios some of the do's and then don'ts, the execution of the if else statement. Is this agenda clear for everyone? Let us check what is the flowchart if else statement. The if if statement in the flowchart is given by using the decision box. If the condition is true, then it will go and then execute this statements one. If the condition is false, then it will go and then execute the statement two. After this two statements then it will go and then execute the statement n. Let us see what is the syntax of the if else statement. If condition or test expression or value opening bracket true statement block here it is statement 1 else and then false statement block here it is statement 2 and then statement 10. Let us check out how does this get executed? First, it will verify if the condition is true or the value given in this if statement is a non-zero, then it will execute the two statement block statement one. If at all the condition is false or the expression results the zero value, then it automatically executes the statement two. So, in either of the case, it can only execute one block either statement 1 or either statement 2. So, that sort of the scenarios only we can make use of the if else statement. The student result use case. Let us now verify the algorithm to display the student result. For this algorithm, the inputs are internal marks and then external marks. The output is pass or fail. To begin with the process, we need to read the internal and external marks and calculate the total as a sum of the internal and external marks and now we need to verify whether the total is less than 50. If the total is less than 50, then we need to display the result as fail. Otherwise, we need to display the result as pass. End. Let us also verify how we can draw the flowchart to find out whether the student is a pass or fail. To begin with, start is represented by using the ellipse symbol and parallelogram is used to represent reading or writing statements. Here we are trying to read internal and then external marks. The process box is represented using the rectangular box. Here we are calculating the total as the sum of the internal marks and external marks. So here we are verifying the condition total is greater than 50 or not. If the total is greater than 50, then we are going to execute the display as pass. If at all, if the total is less than 50, then we need to display the fail of the process. We need to read the student data of the internal marks and then external marks. And if the total is below 50 percentage, then we need to print the given uh, student is fail. Otherwise, we need to display the given student is pass. So, let us read. In order to read those two values, we need to declare two variables. One is int internal and then for total. Now, what we need to do is we need to read uh, internal marks and then external marks. In order to read the internal marks, print f, enter internal mark, can f, percentage d, comma, ampersand, internal. I just wanted to remind you again, this ampersand resembles the address of the internal. If you don't use this ampersand, the value will not get stored in the internal variable. Now again, let us execute, write down the similar kind of the statement, read external values. Let us read external mark, ampersand, external. Now the total given by the formula, total is equal to internal plus x. Taking out the decision, we need to direct the controller to select among the two statements. Statements one is printf student pass. This is one statement and then printf student is fail. Among these two statements, to take the decision which statement to be executed based on the condition that is made over the total. We are writing down that condition in the if block. If 
total is greater than 50 then we can say that the student is passed else we say that student is failed so now we completed writing down the program now let us execute this program and then check so i am just entering the values internal as 20 external as an 45 in this case the total will become 65 and then output it has to be Part. Let us execute again and then check for the other case internal as 10 and then external as 20 in this case the student is fake. So I just wanted to summarize what we discussed now else statement must be immediately followed by the if statement else without a if statement is not valid else does not verify any condition. The problem with the design solutions only implementable with if else statement. Thank you for this session.